Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's finally an update on what my 2022 projects are. In a couple of videos I actually did mention that I planned it all out, that I know what I'm doing this year and I was gonna make a video on it and I never actually did even as it was like December time when I could have so that 2022 is all planned out. I didn't but I figured today I would. I would go over my projects from March onwards. I'm filming this in February and January and February were just kind of like off offish months I didn't really do much in them and now it's February and I'm just kind of doing like prep work for March really so not much really last year I think it was the beginning of 2021 I believe it was I made a introductory video to my projects so this will kind of be the same I'll be explaining each project I'm doing this year and then I'll be telling you guys the schedule just so you know there are some new projects there are some old projects some projects I've talked about in that video and then some projects that I've never talked about anywhere so I'm excited to let you all know exactly what I'm doing. Let me know what you are doing for this year, if you know. If you're just kind of going with the wind, that's fair too. So these are my projects for this year. So starting with all the projects I'm doing this year. We've got my dystopian trilogy, which I talk about all the time. I'm still doing it this year. But this year, the third book will be hopefully finished being written, and then the first, second, maybe even third will be reread, and their notes will be ready to start proper redrafts. I did start the redraft for book one, but there's so much things that already need to be changed based on what's happening in book three, so I'm probably just going to redo that draft anyway. This year will probably be the year that all of those books are written, like, their first draft so granted some things will not stay some things will be added but generally the story will be complete the three books will be complete which is absolutely crazy so since i talk about my dystopian trilogy a lot i don't really feel like i need to explain it here but just in case it's about like a dystopian america something went wrong the government took over they created this new scheme in place that basically solves a problem a problem they faced in the worst way possible and one of my characters decides to finally fight against it. Typical dystopian I'd say. If you're interested in hearing more about this project you should watch, I think it's either here or here, you should watch my introductory project for last year where I talked about it more in detail but that's basically the gist of what the story is. The next project is a new project which I haven't talked about anywhere but this project has been in the works for quite a while both in my head and like just short notes on my phone and it is entitled TLP. It's very simple. This project is basically like set in three different POVs and the way this is set is it's in first person but there's three acts. For each act there's a different POV which I've never done before and it sounds kind of interesting and it's first person which is going to be one of my first projects that's in first person. It's basically about, well it's difficult to say exactly what it's about because of the three acts. Each of them kind of have their own story that ties into one bigger one. So I suppose the one bigger one is this like bandit group I suppose wants to start a war in a kingdom. They want to start a war because they know how to win the war and they want all the power that comes from the war. They basically want to like merge a bunch of kingdoms together to become one big kingdom that they're the rulers of. Then we've got FGI. I'm not sure if I talked about this before. I feel like I have. This project is... I'm pretty sure I've talked about this project before. This project is basically about like... be kind of inspired in a way by Peter Pan. In like the most faintest way possible, it's inspired by Peter Pan. I did not think of Peter Pan when I thought of this idea. Where this idea actually came from is a very actually funny story, which maybe someday I'll, I'll tell you when this book, if this book ever comes out, I'll tell you the story of where this idea came from because the initials FGI is actually where the story idea came from and it's basically about like when someone dies they might not be fully dead and one day a girl meets one of these creatures that's someone that's supposed to have died but didn't actually die and they tell her they need her for something 
That's kind of like the shorthand of what's going on. Then we've got EOS. I call it EOS just because of its initials. It's E double O S. So instead of saying E double O S, I just say EOS. Normally I just say the title of the book when I talk about it to people I know because it's just, I feel like easier to say than EOS or E double O S. But E double O S is a contemporary and it's basically about like everyone's hiding something and it's all pretty bad. Like it's kind of like what happens if the thing you're hiding the most gets revealed. That's the kind of what we're going for. And this project I've actually outlined like in October, which is crazy. And I just haven't worked on it. So I'm finally gonna work on it this year. The next project that I've got is the first book of the HFP series or trilogy, I should say, because it's a trilogy. I also talked about this in my 2021 project. I did not actually end up working on 2021. I was supposed to, I just didn't end up doing it. But I am finally working on it this year. Again, the video will be linked if you want to know what it's about. But to cut a long story short, it's a historical fantasy project, which is where its initials come from. And it's about this Victorian girl who doesn't conform to Victorian rules and what society expects of her, gets immersed into a magic world where this magical person basically kind of drags her along on their problems. I'm really excited to work on this. I've been thinking about the story so much recently and it's kind of a pity that I don't work on it until like the middle of the year. Spoiler alert. So, I mean, I guess it gives me more time to like properly think of the story because it's not actually outlined properly yet. I've got the acts, the basic acts laid out. So I kind of know what happens in each act, but not in detail. And if you know me, you know I freak out without an outline. And finally, we've got a really super long acronym. So I'm just going to call it Project Roses. If you asked me to give you one word to describe this story, strangely, it'd be roses. Project Roses is my NaNoWriMo project for this year. Can you believe it? I'm only going to start working on it in November, but it still gets a place on this list because technically it's being worked on this year. And this project is a genre I've never actually done before. This is, how would I describe it? Like a mystery thriller type project. So I've been reading a few thrillers recently and I've been interested in the thriller genre in movies and things. So I, when I came up with this idea, at first I just jotted it down in my writer journal ready to just leave it with all my other project ideas and story ideas because if there's a project that just doesn't leave my mind I have to write it down and this was one of those projects and I thought you know I don't do thrillers don't really do mystery I'm just going to leave this on the side but then I started outlining it and before I knew it I have a three act outline for this so I'm gonna work on this I'm gonna try and I figured the best time to try working on this would be November straight after Halloween fits the vibe and then towards the very end of the year in December I'm finally picking up NPS again so for the whole year I'm not gonna work on that I just kind of felt like stuck with that project not in terms of plot but it's just that I haven't felt motivated with that project. I've just kind of felt like dread every time I thought about going back to it. But then recently I've started thinking about this project again and I really want to get back into it. And I really want to get back into my characters and I've thought of ways to fix some of the problems I know exist. So I'm going to give this project a try in December because as, as you can tell from this list, a few other projects I want to do first. If I do some of these projects quicker than I expect, then definitely I'll pick it up earlier. But for now, it's at the very end of the year, but NPS book one will be reread this year, hopefully. And now, what will I be doing in 2022 and when? So for March, the books I want to work on are the third book of the Dystopian Trilogy, TLP and FGI. The third book of the Dystopian Trilogy and TLP are both main projects, so these are the projects I'll be properly focusing on in the month. And then FGI is kind of like a side project that I'm just going to work on in the month, see what I can get out, and then just kind of push to the side until a later date. That's kind of what I'm planning for that project. For April, which is Camp NaNoWriMo, I'm actually not doing Camp NaNoWriMo this year because I just don't feel like I'll have the time for it. There's a lot going on in March, April time for me. March time, I feel comfortable enough doing these projects because I can, it's not too busy. It's a little bit busy, but not too busy. April, but I still be working on projects. I'll be working on the third book of the Dystopian Trilogy, TLP, and then EOS. In May, 
I have the third book of the dystopian trilogy. Hopefully this will be the final month I work on it. I gave myself quite a bit of time to do this project because I know how slow I am with this project. I think I'm like 34,000 words as of filming this video and I've been working on this project for quite a while. So I'm very slow with it. It's not like because I don't know what I'm doing, I do know what I'm doing. It's just when I sit down to write, I write like a hundred words and then I'm done. I've been in a really, really, really big writing slump recently. So I'm going to give myself quite a bit of time to do this project. And then TLP and EOS, you know, just going to carry on working on those because there's no point juggling projects around. June is, again, TLP and EOS. But this time, TLP is going to be like a side project, it's something I'm still going to be working on, but considering I gave it so much attention in the past few months, I'm going to kind of leave it onto the side for this month. EOS, again, just going to work on, and then I'm picking up HFP this month, like I mentioned, in the middle of the year. And I think I am picking it up at a good time, because June was like summer break. And then July is Camp Nanaremo, and it is also my birthday. Did I make the month of July any easier for me, considering both these things? No, I did not, because July, as it would happen, is also summer break. So there's a lot of time off. For July, I decided to go with TLP, EOS, and HFP. Just carrying on projects, not very interesting and not camp number i'm not doing that again because if i have to work on a pro like i could technically count one of these as my camp number project but then i feel more obligated to work on one than the other i kind of want to work on them all equally so i'm just gonna have to not do camp number for that either then august again summer break i've got so much time off in the summer we've got hfp again we've got eos again and this time we've got TA the first book. Hopefully in July TLP will be done so that in August I can start rereading the dystopian trilogy. In September I go back to the swing of things. So we've got HFP the first book. We've got the second book of the dystopian trilogy which I hope to reread this month because I think the first book will only take me a month. I think there's only like 17 chapters. And then FGI which I'm picking up for real this time because I feel good. It's like a spooky book, perfect for spooky season. October, which I noted down is Preptober, but I'm not really gonna be doing much prepping because the book I'm doing is already outlined. And it is HFP, the third book of the dystopian trilogy, which I hope to reread this month, and FGI, which is a side project, but still wanna work on. November is NaNoWriMo. I'm doing NaNoWriMo, or hopefully doing NaNoWriMo, yeah. After not doing any other camps this year, I'll be doing NaNoWriMo. And I want to work on the third book of the Dystopian Trilogy as a reread, but kind of on the side, finishing up what I need to, because that is, I feel, this is going to be a long project. The third book, I feel, is going to be the longest of them all, which makes sense, because I've got lots of loose ends to wrap up. And then I've got my Nano project, which is Project Roses, which I'm so happy to finally start working on kind of scared but it also gives me the whole year to read thrillers and kind of get the understanding of how thrillers work and then december is we've got project roses that i want to carry on working on fgi the first book of the dystopian trilogy which i hope to start redrafting and then nps book one which i hope to start rereading two of these projects which is fgi and the first book of the dystopian trilogy are both side project so not too much on the workload but still december is a busy month that is kind of what i plan to do for this year from a faraway glance it seems a bit too much for someone that's just getting out of a writing slump but also i know if i don't go back in the swing of things i probably never will I think these projects are definitely doable. My writing speed is going up as I'm starting to write again. And I'm starting to get the motivation to read, which is giving me motivation to write. So I figured this will be fine. There's loads more projects that I wish I could do this year as well. But to make it easier for myself, they're going to stay on the back burner until I'm ready. But yeah, that's basically what I plan on working this year. So in any future vlogs you see, depending on when it's filmed, hopefully because it'll be re released in like the same month, um, you'll know exactly what I'm working on. This is kind of what I've been following. Obviously, as I said, when I'm filming this, it's March, but I'm pretty confident that I can do all of this, especially with the deadlines. I feel like I give myself a lot of time for these projects. Thank you very much for watching. Like I said, let me know what you're working on this year or what you're working on this month if you haven't figured out the rest of the year. 
perfectly fine. I only figure this out because I know if I don't, I won't do any of it. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!